say neighbor what you believe is what you become what you believe is what you possess yes I want to connect this message to my life today personally I don't believe in any material things I believe in Jesus and Jesus has made me to be who I am what you believe is what you possess as I said earlier on life is a blessing from God being a leader or rich or educated is a privilege but life is a blessing and don't forget that your weakness is not your destiny your mistake is not your destiny but what you believe is what you become at the end of the day if you believe in failure that you are a failure you'll be a failure for the rest of your life if you believe in complaining yes you keep on complaining until you leave this world if you believe so much in lying you become the expert of lies that is the life you are going to live let me take you to the book of Romans 10 hmm. I'll just you know lay a foundation for this message chapter 10 Romans chapter 10 verse 1 my brother and sisters my heart desire and prayer to God is for the Israelites is that they may be saved Two. for I can testify about them that they are zealous for God but their zeal is not based on the knowledge that is the knowledge of God since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own they did not submit to God's righteousness having zeal in your life or in your heart you know to be a child of God there's nothing wrong but the base of your zeal that's where the problem is if you say you are a child of God that is what you are saying and then the foundation of that confession is not the knowledge of God remember that there is another knowledge on the other side that is Satan and his power of manipulation you will establish your own way to continue deceiving yourself that you are a child of God with your mouth but your heart does not carry what you are confessing what you believe is what you become if you believe in failure if you believe in religious you remain religious and you'll be using the word of God for argument instead of saving your life which is very dangerous to your life listen to this before we, we leave this you know verse 2 for I can testify about them that they are zealous for God but their zeal is not based on the knowledge that is the knowledge of God what does it mean if you say I believe in Jesus Jesus must you know confirm your confession by doing what demonstrating his character in your life which can differentiate you from any other person as a believer there you start behaving like Jesus you believing like Jesus believing is always made people to become what they believe believing is connection to what you believe your zeal for God must be what based on the knowledge of God what is what is that knowledge the power of what God I, I told you I said what can destroy human being is evil spirit what can save our life is Holy Spirit that 
is the knowledge of God in us. Being a child of God does not mean because of the years you have been in that church. No. It is the Holy Spirit in you representing the ownership of God Almighty in your life. Because anything that influences your life is in your heart. What you believe is what influences you every day. There's no need for you to say, no, I'm on my own. No, there's something that are always influencing you. You confess Christ, but your character going against Christ. Because what you believe and what you are confessing is not the same. This is an apostle. He said, I can testify about them. That they are zealous for God, but their zeal does not what? Based on the knowledge of God. There's no way anyone can know the mind of God without the Holy Spirit. I mean the knowledge of God. Let me put it in that way. There is no way you can identify a witch, a satanist, or your problem without the knowledge of what? Of God. This is why your fellow human being can lie to you. And you will not know that this person is lying. You believe in what you are hearing and yet that person is lying. But with the knowledge of God inside your life, you will know you are lying. You are not telling the truth. So what you believe is what you become. If you say you believe in Jesus, the best must be the knowledge of God. That is the power of God in you. When you believe, you make Jehovah Shammah now to accept you and accommodate you in his presence. As a sign of ownership. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Listen to this now. Since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own, if you cannot hear from the knowledge of God, of course you start you know, creating something which can make you, I mean, establish you as a leader or a believer. And yet, what you are doing and what you are saying is not from the knowledge of God. Let me jump from there. Let's go to verse 8. What does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. The word is near you. It is in your mouth. I was asking, you know, the, the women on fright that if something is in your mouth the next thing that you do is to swallow that thing the word of God is in your mouth it's near you and it's in your mouth listen to this mm -hmm. this is verse 9 if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You confess with your mouth, you believe with your heart. The Bible says you are saved. You declare it with your mouth. Jesus is Lord. God raised him to death. Then you believe with your heart, you are saved. Believing is connection to his word. Believing is connection to his power. If you say you are a believer, how do you know that you are a believer? There must be a sign. There is no one can just say you are a believer without a sign. You need to be sure of what you are saying. Don't forget that believing, you are connecting yourself to his power and ability. After this life, the same power is the one, in short, let me say, when you believe, you are linked up with God. Because you believe in his word. There is that link, there is that connection. But if you say you are a believer, and then the base is not the knowledge of God, you are lying. This is why you see people after church service, you go and smoke, you go and drink, you go and do whatever, you see it no more. Let me warn you. There is time for everything. 
There is time for everything. Wake up from that you're not sleeping where you are sleeping. Don't be deceived by anyone. Because you believe so much in the fleshly desire. And then you become religious. It's dangerous to your life. Wake up from that trap. There's time for everything. I believe in Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, there is no need for anyone to say, Mulenga, you believe in Jesus. I'll be the first one to know that I believe in Jesus. Don't be deceived. Listen to this again. Verse 10. For it is with your heart that you believe and just fight. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and the saved. Ukusumina te kulanda fe pakanua. Mutima. Ubu bi bwa muntu ta bwa ikala mukanua. Bwa ikala kuisa. No busuma bwa muntu ta bwa ikala mukanua. Bwa ikala kuisa. In this life, everyone is free to live according to your senses. But in that life there, no one can choose to live according to your senses. It is only here on earth. If you are a believer, you believe in Jesus, you'll be like Jesus. Come on, people of God. Listen to verse 10 again. For it is with your heart that you believe and just fight. It is with your mouth that you profess your faith and the saved. Listen to verse 11. As the scripture says, anyone believes in him will never be put to shame. It doesn't matter whether you are white, you are black. Believing in Jesus will separate you from that evil life. Will separate you from that family foundation where Satan is in control. I am standing here. Not because of, you know, my father. No, it is because of Jesus. I don't believe in these, you know, traditional things that you call. No, I believe in Jesus, the foundation of life. Anyone that believes in Jesus shall never put to shame. Some of you, you believe so much in yourself because you are a director, you are a manager, you are educated. Those things are for money. What about salvation? You believe so much in your fellow human beings. You believe so much in your company. You trust your company more than the one who gives you life. What you believe is what you become. No question. And these are the natures that are influencing you every day. Anything inside your heart is more powerful than your flesh. We are here. Jesus is not interested in your body, your outward appearance. His interest is your heart. I promise you that I'll be very brief. By the grace of God, I want to talk more about this. Because there are so many people who are confessing, I am a believer. I am a believer. We are known by our fruits. Even someone who is under the influence of alcohol, you can identify them through their work. You see them, but first, I'm I'm sure you are. You are under the influence of alcohol because alcohol is in your body. You are going this way, but first, you go this way. pushing the body. How come? Same, same to you. Immediately you believe in Jesus. The Holy Spirit will take over your life. You'll be pushing here and there by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will direct you, your life, everything that has to do with you. And then you become what you believe. 
you'll be powerful in your life you'll be powerful in your dreams you'll be powerful in your career you'll be powerful in your family because the one inside you is more powerful than anyone here on earth if you don't know that the holy spirit can influence anyone are you a believer hmm? how do you know that you are a believer <clears throat> hmm? how do you know that you are a believer hmm? how do you know that you are a believer because you need to know there is no need for anyone to tell you that oh you are a believer no there are so many of us who are pretending to be believers and yet we are not believing is connection Believing is possessing. That's why Musangrati, majority of our people are possessed. Why? Because they believe in the standard of this world. Tell me why Satan cannot possess your life. Tell me why devil cannot possess your life. We go to church not because of membership. Because we are more of membership than salvation. We go to church because of salvation. There are only two days here on earth. The day that you came to this world. And the day that you are going to this world. You came with nothing. And you go back with nothing. If you don't know. That's why you need to believe in Jesus. Your wealth is there in heaven. Here you are just here for a while. Salvation is what we are here for. If you say, I believe in Jesus, is it for money? Salvation. And salvation is coupled with a lot of blessings. Christianity nowadays, I don't know. I don't know because there's too much confusion. Why? The base of our faith is not the knowledge of God. This is why there's too much argument. No, me, I believe in this. Me, I believe in this. Our doctrine does not permit this. Which one is your doctrine? Uh-huh. Because our own doctrine is this word. This one. No. We don't believe in these things. But this is the work of the Holy Spirit in you. If the base of your, your faith is the knowledge of God, then the Holy Spirit will drive your life and lead you until you leave this world. Don't be deceived by the standard of this world. What you respect here on earth, huh, you'll be shocked when you go there. You'll be shocked because we follow majority. How many people are supporting this? Then you are going there. You are going there. God is not interested in your number. His interest is your heart. So that at the end of the day, you'll be in his hand. Look at what is happening in the world today. This reminds me of the disaster which happened in Turkey and Syria. Twenty something thousand perished in that earthquake. Is it not an eye opener to all of us? This is what the Bible says that you see this and that. There you know that the hand is very near. Why are you wasting your time to believe you in your mind and believe in the, in the things of this world? You want to develop this world? Come on, people of God. Develop your spiritual life. That's where your life is. As much as we need money, we need shelter, educating our children. Tell me. Are you telling me that the people in Turkey there, they were not educating their children? They were not running business? They were not doing what we are doing? They wake up one day, disaster is the next thing. Are we special more than those people? Twenty something thousand perished. And you are there joking with your life. You are in a very peaceful environment where you can worship Jesus with all your heart. But you are joking with your life. Come on people of God. Wake up from that weakness. It's dangerous to yourself. People must know that going to church is not to please the pastor. No, it's because of salvation. 
people must know this because there are people are going to church to uh, to praise our pastor one or two number member we are not interested in membership we are interested in salvation here Jesus never established anything for membership and he never left any church for membership he left only disciples and he said go into all the world and preach what the gospel whoever believes and be baptized shall be saved that is the mission of Jesus don't be deceived you will leave this world alone you will not go with Pastor Mlenga Pastor Mlenga will go alone you will go alone there you face the reality that is the message we are here for we are not interested in this yo, eh, eh, what and what the mission of Jesus is to make sure that he wins souls back to his father not recruiting what if we recruit members and we are full of problems there you know that it is the mind of human beings that are in charge over the church if the Holy Spirit is in charge over the church there is no way you can stand against the honor of the church because what is in me is in you there we cooperate even when it comes to understanding, we understand according to the instructions of the Holy Spirit. Come on, people of God. Develop your spiritual life. Because what you believe is what you become. It's what you possess. It's what you are capable of doing. Thank you. God bless you.